Jabari Smith Jr. entered the season as a presumptive lottery pick, but from the jump he made it abundantly clear that that was even underselling him. The 6'10 forward slash wing out of Auburn took the country by storm with his tantalizing jump shooting abilities and defense for one of the top teams in college basketball. Jabari just put together one of the better three-point shooting displays I've seen from an 18-year-old freshman, let alone one that's 6'10". He shot 42% from deep on about 5.5 attempts a game, and over the course of the year really built his reputation as an absolute sniper through his abilities to shoot it off the catch, in transition, and some off the dribble too. He tries. Jabari Smith, that's money! Studi came in hitting 44%. He's two for five. He's got really good mechanics, a fluid high release, and though he rarely dips the ball, he still maintains great rhythm and power. Footwork wise, he's definitely one two left right dominant, but he hopped and seamlessly went right left when necessary, usually coming off the dribble. And the overall balance is really impressive. He's got all the attributes to be a knockdown three point shooter in the league in multiple settings and ways. Maximize my potential and just go as far as I want to with, with, with basketball, so. Favorite team. Smith. Got him. The way they are, they're in the bottom third of the league. Nobody wants to play Smith. in South Carolina. Here's That's Smith. One you gotta make. Smith. What a stroke. Trims the lead to six with 318 in the first half. We're playing a zone. A 1 3 1. Nice cut. Oh. Lost. Stolen by Jabari Smith in the open floor. He'll pull. Lynch dribbled off the foot of Fuller. Auburn looking to set up the... Goodness gracious. Chris Moore lost his right shoe. He really... Finished finish that, that short pass. Five-point lead for the Billikens. This is Smith. He launches quickly. Here's Smith. <laughs> wow. Like first matchup. First of all, there's no fear in Castleton going against Castleton. Every one of those schools you name. He built it into a powerhouse, no question. One of the best that we've seen. There's, you see why they've been playing so well over the past five, six minutes. In addition to the three-point shooting, he was one of the best tough shot makers I've seen. Whether this was on one or two dribble pull-ups, his beloved jab series in the mid-post, or on fades, Jabari had and has this way of hitting and making shots in high traffic and making it look routine. Even if you're skeptical of him getting these opportunities in the league, it's very hard not to be impressed by what he did here, and this is where his wow factor was really on display. And that on top of Nebraska being short-handed. We'd like to look at this Kentucky team right now up eight. Jabari Smith. Under a minute to go. Jabari Smith. There's no doubt about it. It is loud. This place seats 20,300. Jabari Smith. He has an advanced fadeaway over either shoulder. We'll see how much he gets to do this early on in his career, but he got it done from the mid post to the bump phase and spins to his spot. He has terrific footwork, gets square in the air, and he can get it off from a variety of set points and has amazing instincts keeping the ball away from swipes. They lost Connecticut all the way back in late November, early December. Wow, oh my goodness. Barry Smith trying to make a move. Fade away. Wildwell, wow. double team, kick out pass to Smith. Wheeling, wow, wheeling. You can't mention his scoring without the jab step. Off the catch on the perimeter or on face ups, he loved the jab, a lot of times just for rhythm purposes. He's Eddie Johnson, the former four star out of Atlanta. Here's Smith on the other way. Gonna take it from there. He's got it from there. Now to the defensive end, the area that Jabari really shines is on the perimeter. He's really about as natural a foreman as there is, yet he moved his feet really well out there guarding many different types of players and even sticking with some of the better guards in the SEC. He's laterally quick, aggressive, has great hands, 
and is also someone that I think could conceivably guard three positions on a lot of nights, but then switch on to some ones and fives. And in comparison to the other consensus top prospects, Jabari is definitely the best perimeter defender. That says a little about the other guys as well, but this is a big part of who he is, and he seemed to take a lot of pride in this end. Chandler, one of the best freshman guards in the base likes. And now Mude. Brooks against Jabari Smith. And here's some clips of those active hands. He came up with quite a few deflections digging on the ball. Sometimes he got a bit overactive, but I loved when he would flip that switch. Not yet. About who I think should be the first pick in the draft next year. Nearly went into the backcourt on after so dribbling. Dylan, one of the things we didn't talk about is his passion. Right? Look at him on the defensive end. Active defense. In the equation. Sooners having a hard time when they do get it in the paint. They're just real. Oh, yeah. You're considered late. Things have changed. Note reject it. They needed the energy to get their fans fired up in the jungle. Tigers lead by two. And he can take it off the glass and bring it up the floor. This always has a little more value for the guys who can play center, but it's still an intriguing part of his game. And for an 18 year old big who's been a big in the past, I was impressed. He was always looking for the three ball when changing ends as well and made a few great passes too. Rebound. And, he, and a rebound for Jamari Smith. And now to some areas he can improve. One of the bigger concerns with Jabari's game is his scoring profile and inability to consistently put pressure on the rim, getting good looks at the basket. To me, this is probably the biggest roadblock in making him more of a projectable star. The handle is very solid for a big man like we said, but when you're out on the wing as much as Jabari is, the ability to drive and turn the corner, having counters, etc. is very important. And especially when you're as good a shooter as he is, you want to be as big a threat as possible and not get ran off the line, funneled inside, or become too one dimensional. Otherwise you have to shoot it at a ridiculous rate to keep that value up. Smith, they set up for three, he drives it, good hands James. For Jabari Smith against his zone. Man to man, much easier. He's also had some finishing concerns, obviously, related to the driving. He's not the most explosive guy in traffic, and finishing among some like sized players has been tough. He shot just 52% around the basket in the half court on non post ups, which for someone who's 6'10, that is a very low number. It was more similar to Scottie Pippen Jr. or Trevor Keels than a Keegan Murray or Paolo. Whether it was the drives or more traditional big man catches in the paint, it was an apparent area for improvement that's got to be another one of the focuses when rounding his game out. To me, him being as young as he is and the great flashes that he had, I still believe he can get a lot better on this front. It'd definitely be one of, if not my main focus, but it's hard not to see the potential still there. I don't know if I can right there. I mean, off the bounce, chest to <laughs> chandeliers. <laughs> Look at his teammate. <laughs> his first field goal, he's one of six. Smith. Five points, two of six. He's trying to get it. South Florida is suffocating on defense. Smith, entry from the wing and a two. Smith leans over the dribble, takes it all the way, hesitates. This will force right here. He, he's not passing this one. <laughs> oh, you're Got right. Five. No, <laughs> right, you can, you can see it. He shoots, he's fouled, and it goes! Jabari Smith. I don't think this is quite a big negative more than it is an observation of the player he is and the function of the role he had. He's not the most natural shot blocker, doesn't have the longest wingspan or help instincts. He's capable of blocking shots and has some great moments, but he's definitely more equipped at guarding on the perimeter and locking in on that matchup rather than being a rover or anything like that. Terrence Frank throws a baseball pass. Yep. Not a chest pass over Smith. Pippen. Kelly, it's a lot of pressure on individual D. Like oh, that. Nice box. Four minutes here. Winner lead blow by wow. boy. Assisted with no real contest at the rim. Dish Adu. Oh, what a block. One of eight. 
from the floor. Good pass inside. Jabari. And he has the ball. Fulkerson, man. Oh, no Joyner. No Robert Allen. That's the big man. Brooks this time with the left hand. I don't hand. doubt he'll be player of the year in this league. He might be the national defensive player of the year. Defensive player. Yeah. Melora Brown draws the foul. To block the Oklahoma Sooners. They score from the inside and out. Move you around. Groves shot. Only got five of those. The bench has been a big difference. Connecticut has dominated there. And Sanoka. Now, I thought he actually got a lot better as a passer and playmaker as the year went on. Specifically in the post as teams started to send more doubles and he had the ball in his hands more. He made some excellent reads and pinpoint passes across the court, but he can get better. As a live dribble playmaker, he's got some developing to do. And again, a lot of that has to do with the handle, but it's all related. Just being able to create an advantage and keep your eyes and head up and be able to process what's in front of you at a faster speed is the goal. And that's going to be achieved with time and game reps. They bring it down to Smith. He finds Kessler for the lead against Auburn, who for a long time was arguably the best team in the country. Wide High open. elbow, great follow through. Inside, Georgia Gatorade Player of the Year and Mr. Basketball. Oh! Wide open. And from the set, they are seven for 42. By Central Florida created an easy basket. Again, pressure. Auburn breaks it easily. The general decision making is still somewhat in the air. It remains to be seen what we can really make of the type of shots that he took during his freshman year. And though he's one of the better tough shot makers I've seen, I think he turned down a few easy looks for some more contested. It wasn't egregious or anything that couldn't be shifted immediately in an NBA system, but I think it's at least noteworthy. With Jabari Smith Jr., you know what he's going to bring to the table. I think at his worst, he becomes a 3 and D starting forward and a great complement to some really good teams throughout his career. And ceiling wise, I think he can definitely be an all-star and just given his age, it's a reasonable possibility that he gets there further completing his game offensively and becomes a threat in more ways. I have very little doubt that Jabari Smith will be a good player in the league as he does two things at a high level that every team could use at his position. But the biggest questions reside in just how good he can become. Can he be that primary offensive option improving the areas we talked about? Team's answers or feelings to some of those questions will determine where he ends up at the top of the draft. Gonna be the first, so I'll forever be the second. Who rep Lamar Park is something you ain't got a question. They like, I'm grown up, better than we expect. You can see the ball, I show.